I'm not in my usual location that um, I'm doing my videos um, and I'm doing this on my phone so if it gets a bit shaky or my arm aches and I'll be swapping you over that's why because I'm sitting on my bed because what I was thinking was I literally just filmed my August favourites and I've been thinking about doing um, a different type of video whether it will be on this channel or my other channel um, and it was kind of um, stuff that maybe like I'm thinking about or I'm upset about or want to change something or have concerns or oh, itchy hand or um, that I kind of just thought maybe you guys out there might have some like similar issues to me and wanted to see if someone else out there um, felt the same way you guys did so this is kind of what I'm doing whether I'm going to keep doing this or not I'm not really sure um, it's just there's something in particular which has been like a running theme throughout my videos you might have seen it's not always um, in all my videos but sometimes it is um, and I kind of just thought maybe I will chat to you guys about it so something obviously which you will notice by the title of this video it's to do with um, animal testing on cosmetics and it's something that I've um, really recently started to do some research and find out stuff about um, and it was earlier this year um, I was starting to think about using like I got an email from someone or something that said something about um, how many companies actually still test on animals and to be honest I was shocked at the amount of companies that still do so I thought Okay, I'm going to do a bit of more research and find out if this really is true. I thought we were sort of progressing and, and, you know, in the world that we are today, we were moving on and moving past that. But clearly we're not. So, um, I researched and I found a lot of companies that do test on animals. Um, the problem is now is it's the law that is in, um, apparently that's in China. That if you sell in China, Chinese government law says that animals, um, that cosmetic, pro um, ugh, that cosmetics have to be tested on animals for it to be, um, sold in China, in mainland China. Um, I don't know any more than that about the information to do with that, so I don't know if that is 100% true or not, um, and that's part of this video, is my frustration of actually knowing the truth. Um, I think generally oh I'm gonna throw this in just now if there's anyone watching this who agrees like a hundred percent with animal testing um, or finds this video boring or they don't want to know then please switch off now because to be honest I don't want to have any negative comments to do this I'm just trying to find out some more information and I kind of only want um, sort of positive information from this so if you don't like it that's absolutely fine and switch off the video now or don't even bother watching it because if you just want to write negative comments about it um, I really don't want to hear it to be honest um, but yes yeah, so anyway so um, I'm trying to think where I was now yeah all, all to do with like China and, and like telling the truth that's where I was um, a lot of companies will say that they don't test on animals um, and then for that, like for some people that's fine and it might be that the final product isn't tested on animals but that doesn't always mean that the ingredients haven't been tested so at the laboratory somewhere else um, have they been tested um, and then that ingredient has been given to that cosmetic company and then they haven't tested so it's finding out a company that the final product hasn't been tested that all its ingredients haven't been tested um, and that also, to me, and this is just me personally, that if a company who don't test on animals has then been brought out by a company that does, um, but they still run the same way, the products haven't obviously been tested on animals, but it's the money trail, whether you spent the money that eventually will go to the people that own the company that do test on some other, like some of their products do test elsewhere. 
And I'm finding this really frustrating, I'm finding it really tiring, um, and I don't want to get to the point that I'm just going to give up and be like, okay, I give up, I'm just going to buy whatever, this is too hard. Um, and I kind of just want to know, are you guys finding it, like, finding the same problem? Um, for, for those of you out there who do want to use cruelty-free products, um, some of my favourite makeup companies I found out earlier this year do test on animals and I was really upset by that and then there's been some that I have found that don't um, and then I get emails from PETA or the Leaping Bunny um, and then suddenly they've changed and they've decided to sell in China. Um, I need to know the proper, the proper thing to do with China. Um, now if anyone knows please tell me because I would really love to know, I feel like I'm really in the dark about this. Is it that the company then becomes that they actually test all of their products or is it that the Chinese government test the final product on animals um, and do the company who owns the cosmetics um, have to give the money to the Chinese government to do the testing or do they not have to? They just send it say to China and then China it's in their hands and what they do with it is what they do with it. Um, but then I think, then have I got a problem with that, that the companies who say we don't test on animals but because they sell, sell in China, that they're okay for their products to then be tested? I, I don't know and I really want to know more about this. So if you guys do know, like I've said a thousand times already in this video, if you do know, please let me know. I would really love to know a bit more about this because I, I feel like I keep hitting brick walls. Um, and then a company that I really, really like and I'm starting to use more of. Um, I'm then hearing that they're selling in China and I'm like, what does that mean they test now? And this is all the stuff that I really want to know. So if you guys um, know any information to do with animal testing, you know, any information to do with China or new laws or companies, you know 100% that they don't sell in China, all their ingredients aren't tested, the, I, the final product's not tested, um, if you know them please let me know of any cut, like um, cosmetic companies recommendations so I could maybe check them out and look at them. Um, it's very hard to do it all on your own um, and I know there are companies out there that will help you and I'm trying to use them as much as possible and I research as much and I have like all my newsletters like emails come through um, to me letting, like, letting me know but it just gets very tiring and it's hard work and I can understand why a lot of people say oh I can't be bothered to do it but I I just don't want to give up so in a way this is kind of a video of reaching out to you guys um, to help me um, maybe figure some like figure out some like oh why am I saying figure out like try some new companies um, or suggestions to help me find out if they do. I know you can send letters, but often the like emails or letters are really, really long-winded. And all I want really is a simple yes or no. I don't want any of this. Oh, we care about the animals, but we also care about the well-being of um, our consumers. I don't want any of that. I literally want to hear no. Our products aren't tested on animals. None of our ingredients are tested on animals. We don't sell to any countries that. I require by law that they're tested by animals because we don't have that rule here um, here, here in the UK that our products have to be tested on animals to be sold here so I want that type of answer and a lot of companies just don't give that to you they're very very wordy and it, it just complicates things and then you think oh I don't really know what that was and what was the point of me even contacting them so I know there's sites like obviously Petra and the Leap and Bunny and stuff are there to help you which is brilliant but then there's some things that I see on PETA where they say they're not tested and then I don't see them on the Leap and Bunny and vice versa. Um, and then I'm just like, oh my god, I'm just like, I'm totally stuck. I just, I feel really lost at the moment. Um, and to reflect my mood, it's just started pouring rain outside. So that's lovely. <laughs> um, oh my, and it's absolutely hammering it down with hail. It's so bad. Anyway. Yeah, so that's kind of it for this video. I know I've kind of blabbed on a bit too long. Let me know if you like this type of video or if you have any video responses to this. I would absolutely love to receive them. That would be incredible. Um, and yeah, 
So I hope you have a really good day. I don't want to dampen your spirits. I just want to make sure that what I'm buying, I can feel guilt-free shopping and feel happy with the purchases that I'm making. So thanks guys and see you later.